Well, it is going to be a packed house in here tonight. The Medieval Maniacs looking to bring the energy for Game 5. We have lots of news going on to get you ready for this one. At the morning skate in Summerlin today, Marc-Andre Fleury took the majority of the reps in practice. Robin Leonard stayed behind to work with the extra skaters afterwards. So it appears that Flower will get the start. Traditionally, the first goalie off the ice is the starter. And perhaps the team was having a little fun with all the goalie speculation because Logan Thompson was the first goalie off the ice. Fleury followed not long after. The other big news was Chandler Stevenson being on the ice after missing the last two games. Pete DeBoer called him a game time decision, but if Stevenson returns, that will give a huge boost to the top line of Max Pacioretty and Mark Stone, and maybe propel the top six forwards who have failed to score a goal in this series. DeBoer says the key for him going in is going to be what we've heard in the past, but haven't always seen a fast start. A win tonight would put the Golden Knights up 3-2 in this series with a chance to close them out. As you can hear, they're getting the noise ready here inside T-Mobile Arena. It is going to sound like this for three hours straight. Puck drops set for a little bit after 6 o'clock. That's the latest from inside T-Mobile Arena. But for what's going on outside in Toshiba Plaza, let's turn to Chief Meteorologist Ted Pretty. Ted. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. Still a little warm out here, as you'd expect. Temperature around McCarran hovering right around 104 degrees. So another rather late arriving crowd as they all pile in after 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock and try to get out of the bars and inside as quick as they can just before the game starts. Let's go over some betting odds, though. Take a look at this. Kind of surprised VGK is such a huge favorite, minus 250, especially out of how close they played Montreal in Game 3 and Game 4. That's a big number, but I like it. Also, over under is five minus 135 is favoring the over. I like the over. In other words, I think there's going to be a lot of scoring. It's going to be a fun night for the VGK after playing in that quiet barn up there in Montreal for the last two games. They're coming home to 18,000 fans and possibly Mr. Uh, Stevenson is going to uh, Stevenson's going to be on the ice again. That would certainly help their offense that is only averaging point two five goals a game. Live look now at Toshiba Plaza. Have a bunch of fans out here a little bit earlier than I anticipated, although we are about two hours almost exactly away from puck drop. And a few Habs fans out here probably trying to get used to the heat, although there's the travel restrictions between Canada and the U.S., of course, right now. So maybe they are locals or live in the vicinity, so they might be used to this heat out here. So that's the story. We'll talk to some more fans and go over some of the hottest games in NHL history based on the outdoor temperature during puck drop. Of course, a lot Vegas set that record last week with a day a daytime high at 116 but we'll go the, through the rest of the list and you could probably guess what two cities are in the top five of the hottest NHL temperatures during game time coming up so Joe and Kim I'm expecting a big night for the VGK I'm expecting a lot of uh, biscuits in the basket back to you I like That's the flag favorite, waver Sammy. out there. Yeah. You see him? He's excited, motivated for a I, big win tonight. I love the biscuits in the basket. Thank you, Ted.